G7 is an impressive gathering of Western democracies, but this time it's not just a gathering of Western democracies, it's a gathering that tries to involve uh, most part of the international community, by the way, including also India. Uh, what we expect? Well, first of all, global crises, uh, a way of coordinating positions in order to smooth transition, uh, energy transition, in order to smooth uh, technology transition, and to try to show unity in a uh, very deep crisis which is represented by Ukraine, by Russian invasion of Ukraine. And so it's a way of coordinating, it's a way of, uh, how can I say, of trying to, uh, to bring closer positions of the international community of the main issues. For Italy in particular, they, uh, we attach a lot of importance uh, to uh, issues like Africa, development, bridging the gap, and also trying to uh, grow together in order to avoid important flows of migrants, uh, especially illegal channels of migration. So struggle against this kind of phenomenon. As far as for India, well, India is a prominent country, it's among the most important uh, countries of the world, it's a huge democracy, so everybody counts on India as a stabilizing factor. You have an important position in the Global South, you are pledging towards a multipolar world, uh, you don't want to substitute other orders, India-centric orders, to other uh, orders in international community, you want countries to cooperate together and we think that this is the right approach and we highly value what you are doing on the international scene.